This reading is going to be for Scorpio, July 2018. Scorpio, July 2018. Scorpio, July 2018. Overall energy, <coughs> excuse me, is five of wands. Somebody's being very childish with their money. Um, a wish is granted, though, um, or it could be that they're being childish with their money and they're spending it on drinking and partying too much and, you know, overindulging or shopping, whatever. Um, you need to get a balance on this. Like, you're trying to balance it, but... Um, it's kind of hard because I see like there's some kind of celebration here happening. Um, clarify this three of cups. I'm hearing bar mitzvah. Um, so the three of cups is a knight of wands and ten of swords energy. So, um, uh, um, so yeah, so it could be that you're too you're drinking too much and you're trying to um, get a handle on like spending your money or whatever, but it's causing grief and that's why you're trying to balance it. And um, you're headed in the right direction. You're very passionate about it, <coughs> about heading in this new direction. Um, And the new direction is involving work. Um, I'm getting that you're married and you have like a stable love life, uh, but you've been having issues with money. So that's what the arguing is about. But that's, you know, um, the reason why you had problems with money is because it was your karma, but that's actually coming to a close now. Um, so things will start turning around for you. Um, Um, when should things start turning around for Scorpio? So things, things are going to be turning around for you when your marriage starts to, when you start to work on your marriage more, like when you two become more stabilized and you have temperance and, and working with your partner, then things will start to stabilize in your career. Um, you're having a very immature stance in regards to this relationship and it's causing your immaturity on an emotional level is causing your partner to be in this nine of swords energy. She's blaming herself. She feels stuck and she's, you're basically watching her, but you're not helping. You're not doing anything. Um, but that is all she's going to get out of that energy and become the queen of wands and embrace the queen of wands 
um, once you start, she's going to be, you know, be more passionate and whatever, what have you, um, when you open up to her, okay, and stop being immature, um, and stop giving her just a little bit of love, you know what I mean, like, when you start giving her, like, the king of cup love, not the page of cup love, so, by doing that, you're making her feel insecure, but once that stops, she will be the queen of wands, and be, you know, a queen, instead of, a girl stuck in the bed insecure okay um spirit please tell me this is for scorpio scorpio advidance um advidance <laughs> guidance for scorpio please <laughs> guidance for scorpio please oh Guidance for Scorpio, please. And this card stuck in my hand. Okay. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? Divine passion, right? Unleash your adventurous side. Take risks and be daring. Something with ice. You like ice skating or something? <laughs> Go do that. Ice fishing? Go do that. If you need any more guidance or clarity, you can email me below. Um, information will be in the description box. Love and light to all of you. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.